today's top stories. We catch up with the rowing team and find out how their training season is going. We get the lowdown on formal and find out who's going. We get all the info on robotics club. We find out what goes down in breakfast club. I'm Haley. And I'm Brian. Welcome to 108 News. Our rowing team came 11th in North America, got silver in schoolboy, and we have two rowers placed fifth overall in Canada. So let's now row, row, row our boats down to Eric and Aaron to see how the team is doing. I'm Aaron here in the uh, Spartacus room with the GSS rowing team, and the rowing team did extremely successful last year, and we're here to talk to a few of the members to see if they have any goals they want to beat or if they're looking forward to the season. I'm here with Kevin. Uh, Kevin, how many years have you been doing rowing? One year. This is my second coming up. Now, last year, how did you do? Did you do uh, pretty good, or do you have more expectation this year? Well, we came uh, third in Canada. That's right, number three in our eight-man boat. Now, do you have any personal goals yourself that you want to try and uh, make this season? I just want to beat everyone in my path. Now, why do you say that this would be your best season? Um, well, basically, we're just going to have a lot of fun. We're going out there, give it 110. Unfortunately, the uh, rowing team wasn't working out today. It was actually one of their first official practices. As you can see, there's a lot of high expectations from all the members of the rowing team, and we hope that it's going to be an even better season than last. Now back to you. Eric and Aaron, GSS decided to step it up for this year's formal. Instead of the regular formal in the school gym, it's moved to the Grand Olympia, where there will be a three-course meal, unlimited drinks, and a spectacular fireworks show only for $40. We now join Steph and Alan, where they get their groove on, talking to students about formal. I'm here with Gene Daffy. Have you ever been to a formal before? Yes, I have. Are you going this time? No. And why not? This is $40 now, not $40. Cassidy asking her about Kim, are you going? What do you think about the $40 fee? It's kind of pricey, but I'm going to have. Here at the Anastasia Georgia Cactus, it's part of Student Council. How do you think it's going to go? I'm hoping it's going to be, um, you know, something new for GSS and something exciting and that we can look forward to in other years. And um, a fundraiser district screen, um, an off-site formal, and fundraise money for the holidays. Are there, I hear there's going to be some extravaganza at the end of formal, is that correct? There will be. You'll have to come out and uh, see what it is. Thanks, Ellen and Steph. Have you ever missed breakfast or still felt hungry in the morning? Well, then head up to room 305 for Breakfast Club. Not sure how it works? Well, Chelsea and Wes want to talk to members of the Breakfast Club to see what goes on. I'm here with Stephanie Palios and Katie Klavnicki here for Breakfast Club. So tell me, what goes on here at Breakfast Club? Oh, every morning we basically just make food like French toast, waffles, pancakes. Anyone who wants it, anyone who needs it, they can come in in the morning and just have some free food with like orange juice and apple juice and whatnot. Is it costly to keep this club running? Uh, it does cost a decent amount, but thankfully we have a lot of sponsors like Royal Canadian Legion gives us money and the government gives us money, so I get to spend as much as I want. Can GSS students volunteer here at the club? Yeah, definitely they can. You know, if they want you to come in the morning, they get an hour for uh, cooking, cleaning, you know, serving food. Basically what I've been doing and then what my volunteers here are doing right now. Well, that's it for 108 News. Now, Vanessa and Brian, back to you. Thanks, Chelsea and Wes. Well, that seems to be all we have for today. I'm Haley. And I'm Brian. Hope to see you next time. Stay frosty, GSS. Stay frosty.